Paul, good morning again. LaDon, good morning. Bahamas this morning. We're here near Abundant Life Road near the Chelsea's Choice Water Depot. And I'm joined by Sergeant Creston A. Johnson from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, who has been a bit busy this morning directing traffic, but is giving us an initial look at overnight traffic. A pleasant good morning to you and a pleasant good morning, Bahamas. Well, overnight, we've only had one traffic accident, and that occurred in the East Street and Ross County area. That was investigated by the Curfew Enforcement Unit. Uh, this time, this coming in this morning, we had a traffic accident that just occurred on the Seabreeze Lane area near the canals. Officers are in route to investigate saying There are currently 13 persons who are still hospitalized as a result of being involved in a traffic accident. And additionally, this morning, as we're here at this location, obviously scores of persons already making their way, hoping to get some water. Uh, what general advice can you, uh, or rather, what have you observed so far with um, motorists during these sort of periods? Okay, during the long wait, drivers tend to engage in distracted driving. A lot of persons have been um, born reference to their cell phones in hand while operating their vehicles. Because once they're in their vehicles and they're now distracted, we have, we have long lulls, we have long gaps in the traffic. So once we have that flowing and help persons paying attention to the street, then we're able to move a lot quicker. Well, some great advice coming in there from Sergeant Johnson. Additionally, we spoke with her uh, just a few days ago to give us some more details on what drivers need to know during lockdown. Take a look. What do drivers need to know during lockdown? Tip number one, plan your trips. As you know, the country is going to be on a lockdown for the next Two weeks. We advise the general public as much as possible to stay at home and to practice social distancing. Tip number two, make contact with police during complete lockdown periods. For motorists who need to traverse the streets during the Monday, Wednesday and Friday period, we ask you as much as possible to plan that day before you go onto the street. Assign someone to do your grocery and whatever services you require during that period. Additionally, as it pertains to any emergencies that would take place, if you have to come out on the days that you're not required to be on the road, that is Tuesday, Thursday and during the weekend period, to contact the 311 hotline or any of the telephone hotlines that they've provided for you, that that is 326-6346-326-7871 or 322-1051. Tip number three, be prepared for unexpected events. If any traffic accident was to occur while you're on the street, remember, you want to stay at that scene. If you're involved in a hit and run accident, please note the description of that vehicle, the color, where that vehicle was traveling, where they left, and what actually occurred, the license plate number, all of this to better assist the investigating officers once they come onto that scene. And obviously some great advice there coming in from Officer Johnson. Any final words, uh, Officer Johnson? Well, what I can only think about is the fact that we must stay safe, stay healthy, con continue to practice social dis distancing, and for as much as possible, just be about this keeper. Just as we are now standing up and talking, we are six feet apart and we have our masks on, we want to encourage the general public to do the same. As you traverse the streets, please, at all costs, pay attention to the street. Pay attention to all persons who are using the road, especially our pedestrians. So again, be safe and and see you on Monday. Well, thank you so much for that update. Again, reporting here from there, the Abundant Life Road, Chelsea's Choice Water Depot for the morning edition. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.